Ooh! <gasps> we can play Momir! Someone's on, we might actually be able to play Momir! <gasps> oh my gosh, we can play Momir! <laughs> awesome! Yeah, I'll go first. Well, we are so silly. I love it. Ah. <laughs> I just don't like... I mean, this person's been waiting for an hour to play Momir. And that's just really frustrating. I don't like being on the other side of it. Alright, so I think we're going to not do anything until our three drop. Momir is so much fun, and it's super goofy. Um, blue. Pass the turn. Okay, so, Momir Basic it's, is the format. Uh, Momir Vig is this um, hero card or whatever it's called. So, you pay X and discard a card to put a token onto the battlefield that's a copy of a creature card with random, uh, converted mana cost X chosen at random. Activate this ability only any time you can cast a sorcery and only once each turn. It is so goofy you pay whatever mana and you get a random card for magic history it's fantastic Dondon can't attack unless defending player controls an island oh no when you control no island sacrifice it oh never mind <laughs> and it's just like you get all kinds of weird stuff black all right, so now we're gonna do Momir. So we paid three. We're gonna discard mountains. We got a bunch of those, and we got Cabal Slaver. Whenever a Goblin deals combat damage to a player, that discard that player discards a card. All right, so we got a random two one, which is fine. My best Momir story. Okay, my best Momir story. I I waited till th turn three. I got a three drop. And I got, um, Mariki Rebarret, Life Spring Druid, tap to add one of any color. Oh, that's good. That's good for them. Um, all right, so I got Mariki Rebarret, so like tap, steal a guy, and you have it until then. They, on their three drop thing, they got, um, True Name Nemesis. Protection for player. <laughs> it was so silly. Ooh, trample and exalted. Nice. Rocks Charger. So it'll get plus one, plus one. So it would still trade with the Druid. No, it wouldn't. Yeah, it would. But they probably want the mana. I think... I think we need to attack. Okay, let's attack. Because if we're patient, they're going to have more mana than us. Um, thank you very much, Nelstone. Yep, so that's why it's when we we're basic. That's what the format's called. So yeah, you just have a, a deck full of basic lands, and you have a Momir avatar, which is like 50 cents if you want to go buy one. Um, it's, it's great fun. It's great fun. So they got a 5 drop on turn 4. Lucky them. Changeling Trample. 
four four. Ouch. He's $11? All right, well, I haven't looked lately, but somebody told me it was like 50 cents, so I believed them. Yeah, so he's like a half of a dollar, or he's like 60 cents. Wait, what's dis van and van? I don't know what that means. Blood Pyre Elemental. Sacrifice it, deals 4 damage to target creature. Activate this ability only time you can cast a sorcery. Hmm. Use that to get rid of their changeling 4 4 trample. So now we can attack. I'll try not to, Mr. Thaddeus. <laughs> Okay. Thank you, Dev Clock. And I'm only attacking with it because the Exalted trigger, although I guess I would have gotten one more damage if I attacked with both. But this way he won't attack me with his Dork. Well, um, I actually was given a bunch of avatars by card hoarder for my thousand followers celebration stream. So, um, that's when I learned how to play Momir. I learned from card hoarder and it's very, very strange and very, very silly. And I love it very much. Exalted angel. Whenever it deals damage, you gain that much life. Oh crap. And it's a four or five with morph. Morph doesn't matter. Whew. All right. We need a good six drop of our own. Visara the Dreadful, legendary creature Gorgon, flying destroy tar tap to destroy target creature. It can't be regenerated. Well, I get to do that next time. All right, but we can't really attack into the angel right now, so we'll pass the turn. That's fantastic, Lavina. Yeah, Vistra is fantastic. Uh oh, we got. Thundercloud Elemental. Mm. Eh, it's a 3 4 flyer. It's not that great. Mm. <laughs> Hi, freaking Brian. Destroy your angel, please. Thank you. Oh, I did that in the wrong order. Okay. Seven mana lottery. Seven mana lottery. Herald of Leshrac. Flying, cumulative upkeep, gain control of the land you don't control? No way! What? Oh man, that's so sweet! Oh, so score. I'm so excited. Alright, we can pass. Oh my goodness, yes! <laughs> This is so powerful. 
They just got... They just got Grizzle Brand? Oh, man! <laughs> Good thing I can destroy it with Visara. Visara, yeah. Visara. <laughs> yes, I do wish to do so. <laughs> that is so fantastic. Now they have eight cards in their hand. All lands. See what we get for eight. All right. Tomb Stalker, Flying Delve Five Five. Oh well. Okay. Still a five five flyer. That's pretty good. Because that thundercloud or thunder whatever, yeah, thundercloud elemental has been making me so I can't attack. But we'll take care of it next time. Pintivus, just battlefield with five counters on it. Remove a counter to put a colorless artifact token with flying on the battlefield, and then backwards. Pay one and sacrifice a Pentavite to put a counter back on Pentavus. Alright. Yes, I would love to do so. <laughs> oh, this is so fantastic! Oh, and I did it in the wrong order again. Oh well. Artisan of Kozilek, what? Whenever you cast it, you may return a creature card. So basically, I just get my Annihilator too. But that is sweet. This is not flying, so let's... Nope, this one. Get rid of the Thundercloud. This is a 5-7. So we can attack now. <laughs> yeah and I'm good no sideboard necessary <laughs> oh I love Momir so much I will keep my seven cards as well thank you Um, that's what someone said. Island Walk is also a little bit dangerous. So Islands and Forests aren't as good. Um, but it doesn't come up that often. And he just summoned the two drop where if you didn't have enough, an island, you sacrifice it. So I like to play them out in Wooburg order if at all possible. But I'm kind of a nerd like that. Hi there, Shadow Program! Ooh. We Dragonauts. Flying whenever you cast an instant or sorcery, it gets plus two plus oh until end of turn, which she'll never do, but that's neat. You have a one three flyer. Mm-hmm. 
We got Blood Rock Cyclops 3-3 three, three, attacks each turn if able. Nice! Um, because if you play one or two drops, you don't get to seven. Uh, because you have to discard a card when you um, activate Momir. Sometimes it's a good strategy to play to activate for zero, one, two, etc. But uh, most of the time, if you can get larger, like seven and eight drops, it's better for you in the game in the long run. Lagic Lizard, 3-3. Three, three. Aw, they're gonna trade, probably. I also once got something where when it entered the battlefield I had to sacrifice all other creatures I controlled. That sucked. <laughs> I think that was an 8 drop. I'm not positive, though. All right. When it enters the battlefield, put a minus one, minus one counter on each creature. Okay. On everybody. Interesting. So what do they get? Mephitic Ooze. Gets plus one, plus zero for each artifact you control. Deals combat damage to a creature. Destroy that creature. That creature can't be regenerated. Ooh. But it has to do damage. And it's a zero five. So we're good. Unless they get an artifact creature. Which if they activate Momir for zero, they probably will. Yeah, hey last man, welcome back. Momir is awesome. Mr. R, thank you for following. No point in attacking. So I got Plover Knights, 3-3 three, three flying first strike. Not bad. Oh, that's an artifact. Dang. When it dies, you gain four life. Okay. But now this guy, if he blocks it all, he does damage and then it destroys. The c whatever. Bummer. Managed to get a six drop artifact. Incubus is my life. Thank you for following. We got Arjun the Shifting Flame, legendary creature Sphinx Wizard. Flying whenever you cast a spell, put the cards in your hand in the bottom of your library in any order, then draw that many cards. So it's a 5-5 five, five flyer. That's not terrible. All right, so we can attack with the Flying First Strike. I know! <laughs> I mean, he's still a 5-5 five, five flyer. That's not that bad. It's just not, you know, 6 mana worthy necessarily. Actually, 6 mana for a 5-5 five, five flyer is not that bad either. Could be, wor uh, could be worse. Could be better. Could be worse. <laughs> I don't know why they only play forests or mountains and swamps. It seems strange to me. I guess they're playing around Island Walk and Forest Walk. 
Angel of Glory's Rise. When it enters the battlefield, exile all zombies, then return all human creature cards from your graveyard to the battlefield. Is this guy a zombie? No, he's an elemental shaman. Is this guy a zombie? Okay, nothing happens. That's neat, though. That's a 4 6 flyer, so they'll just bounce all day. Ooh! Sepulchral Primordial. Intimidate. Yes! When you're to the battlefield, for each opponent, you may put up to one target creature card from that player's graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. Hmm. And I can't attack with knights anymore either. I guess we just pass. Tunneler Worm. 6-6. Six, six. Discard a card to regenerate it. Alright. Not bad. I liked that one let me steal their lands. That was sweet. Colossus of Akros. Defender Indestructible Monstrosity 10. Uh, as long as it's monstrous, monstrous, it has trample and can attack as though it didn't have defender. Okay. Neato. That will help. In two turns. We'll play a nine drop, and then we'll play the land we draw after that. So we can monstrosity ten. And then after that we can play another t we can play a ten drop. They'll discard a card to regenerate it. It's not like they have any tricks up their sleeve. TZLQR, thank you for following. Yes, my goal is to activate the Colossus. 2020 Trample Indestructible. Oh, they didn't regenerate it. That was strange. Okay. God Sire. Whoa. Vigilance. Tap to put an 8 8 beast creature token that's red, green, and white onto the battlefield. That's pretty. That's pretty serious. All right. <laughs> All right. And next time we'll draw something so we can activate it. So let's go ahead and, and moat mirror for nine. Thing from the deep. Whenever thing from the deep attacks, sacrifice it unless you sacrifice an island. Okay. Pass the turn. We've got so many things we can't really attack into each other. This guy's vigilance too? Ouch. Prince of Thralls. Whenever a permanent opponent controls is put into a graveyard, put that card onto the battlefield under your control unless I pay three life. Okay. Oh, we just watched Strasity 10 the Colossus. Yes! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Woo! 2020 Indestructible! With Tramp. Yeah, with Trample. Yeah! Uh, 
Um, the Kentucky is, um, it's in, I'm not sure what city it's in. If Carrick is still online, he'll, he'll probably know, but I actually don't know. It's indestructible, what are you going to let me eat? Honey! Ha ha ha! Oh, actually, that was really dangerous. Oh, no, indestructible. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> Louisville, thank you. I knew that, but I just totally blanked on it. <laughs> I love Momir. They got a second Prince of Thralls? For real? And it's not legendary. Huh. Okay. Hello. I'd like to activate Momir, please. Why can't I activate Momir? <gasps> oh, I can Montrusty again? Oh boy. Oh no, I can't Montrusty again. Yagsmoth will. Thank you for following. Well, that sucks. That was a waste of 10 mana. But oh well, because I couldn't activate Montmere anyway. Yeah! <laughs> oh, I have to discard to activate. You're right, that's why. Thank you! <laughs> oh, that was great. I freaking love flying Momir. <laughs> 